Hey everybody, it's Nicola here and welcome back finally to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Unfortunately, it has been a little while since I've been able to make one of these videos because unlike in the peaceful virtual life of Animal Crossing, real life can be busy and stressful and everything so I had to take a little break. But anyways, trying to move on from that as much as possible and just kind of carry on like normal. We are here in Lily Cove and we are currently at sort of the beginning of autumn. Summer's kind of over, the grass is now changing, and we're kind of turning into the autumn or fall season if you call it fall. So I'm just gonna take a quick walk around town today because things probably look a little bit different. I did kind of keep playing a little bit um, while, you know, the series wasn't being uploaded to YouTube, but after a little while I did kind of stop to preserve my town as much as possible. So today we're just going to be having like a little refresher on how things are. Anyway, hi Wolfgang, how are you today? Howdy, good to see you. Yeah, you too buddy. Um, I think he, I think I said I'd go meet him actually, which is why it's like one more time. I think he wants me to go see his house or whatever. Oh hey, it's the first letter I ever sent you. How cute. Can't believe you kept it. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh no, I'll never escape. Aw. He's a big softie, really, underneath all of that gruff exterior. Um, so anyway, I think before I actually had flowers lining a pathway, and now I've just put down this really basic tile to kind of outline the path I want to create around my town. Oh. Um... He was supposed to be a secret for a little bit longer, but we can go talk to him now. This, my friends, is a new villager that I did not have before, and that he just happens to be my favourite animal of all time in the Animal Crossing series. This is Frobert. Now, the reason I have Frobert is actually because a very kind uh, person said to me, Oh hey, I have Frobert in my town, he's moving out, would you like him? Now, I've never actually had Frobert in my town in New Leaf ever. The last time I had him was mainly in Wild World, but also I think I had him one time in Let's Go to the City. And in all the time, you know, the three or four years uh, playing New Leaf, I've never seen him at all. So I finally gave in and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take him, he can move into my town. Then they of course announced, oh hey, amiibo cards, now you can invite people to your town. As soon as I finally get Frobert, by a means I didn't really want to get, they announced that you can use the amiibo cards. So that was kind of crap, but I've got Frobert in my town and I love him, he's like the best guy. Oh, you want me to catch you a dragonfly? Okay, sure, I think there's some red ones out and about right now, so I can do that. Oh, he's just so cute. Look at his little teeth. <laughs> anyway, this is like my favourite Animal Crossing villager ever, so I'm really happy that I have him. Uh, so let me just get my bug net out in case I see a dragonfly and I'll go and uh, give him that later on. But anyway, yeah, um, this pathway is kind of like definitely not a final design or anything, it's just something really basic. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at designing patterns and stuff. Which is really sad, I wish I was better. I don't really just want to look on the internet and find something like I really would like to try and design my own thing, but for right now this is this is what we're dealing with. So um, I think I had my fountain before. Gosh, I don't even remember. I'm just going to take a, a big old walk around town and follow my pathway um, and we'll just see what happens. So yeah, this is Frobert's house over here. I find it quite funny that he's a frog and he moved in like right between these two ponds, so I guess he maybe goes for a little swim there. Um, this is Pippi's house. We had uh, Pippi before, I think. And Marshall's there, of course. I don't remember. Did we meet this person? Oh, well, she's not at home. Uh, that That's Poppy's house. Which I find quite funny because I have Pippi and Poppy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's a squirrel and she's like super cute and I really like her. I'm not sure if I've ever had her in one of my towns before, but I really like her. Oh hey, hey cat, how you doing? You have fleas, dude. <laughs> you gotta like sort that out. Yowzy zowzy. <laughs> hey, how are you anyway? I'm not really up to much, to be honest. Here, let me help you out, you poor thing. Eh. Here we go. A flea. Does that feel better, honey? 
Well, a flea. Yeah, that was you, friend. <laughs> yeah, sure you have. <laughs> yeah, you're a cat. You're supposed to be, like, ultra clean. Oh well, I won't tell anyone. Your secret is safe with me. Alright, well I may as well keep my little uh, bug net out in case I see a dragonfly. So yeah, um, I planted like these perfect cherry trees to try and, you know, create like features and stuff, but I'm not really sure about them now. I have these bushes here, which are actually um, pink and blue hydrangea bushes, I think is what they are. So my plan was to plant like pink roses and blue roses here to kind of give like a contrast, but at the moment they're not blooming, so you can't really tell that that's what it's supposed to be, but trust me, it will look nice at certain times of the year. Um, also, someone's moving in here, so that'll be interesting. Not the most ideal location, I think. In the future I will want to build something here, but it's okay for now. Um, if it's a villager I really like, then I'll just have to deal with it. Uh, but that's the thing that's happening. Also, I finally designed a flag. Well, I say designed, I uh, copied the Professor Layton logo in because it's Lily Cove and it starts with L and it looks really cool. So that's like my town flag design, which I finally did. Also, check out my bed hair. I'll go get a haircut in the next couple days so it's not so, like, you know, messy. Anyways, um, I think everything else is pretty much the same. The tree, the town tree is of course like really big now because we've had this town for quite a while. Hey Tipper, how are you doing? I've got to help you. Oh, um, you want my flea? I... okay? I, I do have one. Um. Sure. <laughs> Apparently fleas are trendy, guys. I I don't know how that works, but hey, I got a big dot T out of the deal. Which is interesting because I think, if I'm remembering correctly, um, the big top, the bleh, big dot T is actually something that, yeah, there it is. Um, in Wild World, you used to be able to change your inventory background and if you dragged a shirt or a pattern to like the lower left corner of the screen and the default one was the big dot shirt so I'll, it was always like oh you can get like a free t-shirt if you do this and that was like one of the very first things that I always do in my game. Anyways, um, here I have all of the basic flowers. I have six of each and these are all just kind of sitting here until I decide what to do with them in terms of decorating my town. You may have seen earlier I put all my hybrid stuff. Ooh. There's a thing a thing thing. Let me dig this up. It's a fossil. Hooray. Um, I'll show off my fo fossil collection probably another time to be honest. Um, but I've almost completed it actually so that's quite exciting. Uh, but yeah, I planted all of my hybrid flowers over here so I have quite a few stuff um, built up once again for when I finally decide what the heck I want to do in terms of designing my town. So, you know, it, it's okay. Like. I, I want to take my time. Um, I haven't really been, I guess, inspired uh, to do any designing, but now that I'm kind of back into playing this series properly, I'll I'll give it another go. I'll try and do some flowery stuff and maybe try and design a better pathway than this. So yeah, what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to catch a dragonfly for Frobert, but I don't see any around here. Um, that's okay, I can just kind of wander around a little bit more. The cafe, of course, we've always had, um, I'm pretty sure anyway, <laughs> it's been a little while. Hey Groucho, how you doing? Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> In Wild World they used to get really mad when you hit them with the net or the axe or anything, that's kind of funny. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, Pete, huh? Yeah, I mean, he does his job well, but the amount of times I have to re-deliver, like, parcels and stuff because he's given it to the wrong person. I'm not so sure. Although maybe that's an admin error. You can blame uh, Pally and Phyllis. Oh, hello there balloon. Bonk. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, there's a stick insect in that tree. It's not very often that you get to actually use the net to knock down a balloon, so that was kind of funny. Have I caught one of these before? Oh no, I haven't. Cool, I can go hand that into the museum. Yeah, I'm sort of like a little bit behind with my bugs and fish, like with the seasons changing and everything, so I'll definitely have to go on a little fishing spree and make sure I catch everything that I need to. Um, I think I've actually got all of the balloon furniture now, so I don't really need whatever this is. Although having a second chair isn't too bad, you know, because 
It means you can um, set up a nice table and have more than one guest round, right? So yeah, um, let me have a final look around for this darn dragonfly. Not to be confused with a darner dragonfly, because <laughs> they're not out at the moment. We want the red dragonfly. And I don't even know if I've caught one of those for the museum, so ideally I'd like to keep seeing all these, um, what are these called again? Monarch butterflies, yes. Again, I haven't really played in autumn, so I'm catching all of these new things, which is cool. And I was playing a little bit earlier just to kind of tidy up and check there wasn't any mess around, but oh look! <laughs> Cats like must have talked to Wolfgang and they've like shared shirts. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, you look good in that, girl. Girl, yeah. Now that you don't have fleas as well. Oh, it kind of matches the inside of your ears a little bit. Oh, you want my t-shirt? A fake. Oh, you got a fake t-shirt? Man, that sucks. Oh man, I don't know how you'd look at it. I mean, you can buy it. I hope you don't put it on though. I mean, if she does, that'd be okay. Like, the orange would look kind of cool with the blue contrast. You gonna put it on or are you gonna stick with your current clothes? I don't know, you're just gonna buy it. Okay, fair enough. Still, you look good though. Um, that's nice. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't remember if I had this lantern before. I think I did, because I was talking about like, oh, I want to put one on this side, but I'd have to move the bench because like, it's like one tile too far to the left or something, or to the right, sorry, and it's like, oh, there's a dragonfly. Wait. Yes! <laughs> Hello! No! J -j no, please, please come back. Oh, I'm gonna have to cross the bridge. It's okay. I'm gonna be a good neighbour, I'm gonna give this one to Frobert and then I'll catch myself one later for the museum. Alright. Where are you? Where are you? I bet it's crossed like back over the river again. Or it's like vanished up the waterfall or something. Knowing my luck. Oh no, is, is that it up there? Yes, come here. You are mine. Sweet. I caught a red dragonfly. Wonder if it breathes fire. <laughs> Not that kind of dragonfly. Or dragon, I don't know. Now, I'm sure I will have caught a mantis before, but I'm just gonna catch this guy anyway. Just in case. Time to pay respects. Man, that sounds so cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me go and find Frobert really quick. Really, really quick. Come on, Frobert. Where are you? I think he was down here, right? Jeez, I can't even remember. I've seen so many villagers today. Because we met Wolfgang down here and then he like appeared over by Reese's and I was just like, or retail, and I was just like, dude, you were supposed to be like my big surprise for the end of the video, but no, he poked his little head out like, hey guys. Oh, Groucho, are you moving? That'd be really cool. Oh, my mantis. Um, sure, what will you give me? Monies? Okay, I'd rather have items, but you know, whatever. You can have it, I don't need it. Enjoy. Maybe if you could move out though, that'd be kind of nice. I mean, the problem is, like, Groucho has basically the exact same personality as Wolfgang, and I'd much rather have Wolfgang. And, I mean, sorry. <laughs> basically. Hey, dude. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. That is the worst. <laughs> I feel so bad now. Hey, oh. Oh, I did. I said hey, oh, and everything. I have your bug. Enjoy it. You're probably gonna eat it, right? Because you're like a frog. Wow, a red dragonfly, thanks a ton. No problem, friend. Right, he better give me an epic gift. Oh, there's a shirt, okay. A Jinbei top, I have no idea what that is. Oh, you're welcome, oh, he's so happy, I love him. Okay, um, let's try this on. Ooh. I mean, I'm not sure it's my thing, but it's probably like historical or something, right? That'd be useful. I need various designs of clothing for something that's coming up that I need to unlock. Oh, it's gonna be such a pain. But anyways, I won't talk about that right now. Um, I'll probably finish off the video here, actually. We kind of have a little bit more to discuss in terms of what's happening in the autumn and what's happening at the end of this month, because we're in October now. But I'm gonna save that for another video, which I'll probably record in a few days' time, just to kind of give... Uh, some villagers a chance to maybe move out and of course this person to move in. Um, shall we have a peek at the sign? Let's do it. Who is it? Colton. Colton Colton. Uh, are you a horse? I think they might be a horse but I'm not sure. Either way, 
um, I may be okay with them moving out unless it turns out that I really really like them, in which, in which case that'd be good because I want to build something here but you know, it doesn't really matter overall. But anyways, let me end the video off by just going into my house, which I think is mainly the same. Um, it might have switched the furniture around a little bit. But I think I finally decided that although I really really like this size of house and everything's like super cozy and nice, let me put the light on, um, I'm finally going to start expanding because I actually need more storage space. So if I can put my furniture out in my house, then that'll kind of give me some more storage space and everything. So yeah, so long, nice cozy room, uh, we'll make this a little bit bigger and expand the house because I have quite a lot of money at the moment. So yeah, by next time, should have my house upgraded, we'll have our new villager, maybe someone will be moving out, which would be nice to kind of free up some more space. And yeah, hopefully this was a nice little refresher on Lily Cove and how we're getting on. So I shall end the video off here. Thank you very, very, very much for watching and I shall see you next video.